Hey, good afternoon. It's Clint Baker from Hill Billy Hippie Honey Bees. Just getting ready to get into some of our bees here at the bee yard in, in uh, Nitro. It's our teaching apiary in Nitro, West Virginia. Uh, yeah, I just want to get into these few hives we have here and we want to check and see uh, how they're doing. Uh, if there's any swarm cells uh, starting, uh, I fear that there is one box over here that's starting to do that. If there is, we'll go ahead and do some splits. And so uh, we'll we'll get with that. So uh, won't take up any more of your time here. We'll get into what we're getting into. So. All right. So this one here is uh, what we call number 55. Uh, she's a very good queen. She produces quick, uh, very calm, docile. We want to get a lot of splits off of her this year. Um, I want to get in here and see uh, what is actually going on with her. Uh, we may have to uh, do some things now, uh, but uh, we'll check and see what we're going to do once we get in here. Uh, I was hoping my brother would be here today, but he had some family things he had to to get to. So, but uh, anyway, we'll get in here and look around, and see what's going on. Maybe it can wait a couple of days. Looks like they're having some sort of a big uh, fancy birthday party over at the community center. Lots of folks pulling in, asking questions, and all the, all all kinds of young ladies in their sparkly gowns and all. Oh my! Look at them. It's already. This is why we we like her. She. Builds really quick. You can already see drones in here. Uh, they're really doing well. So you can see they're fescuing. They're starting to build the wax up in here. Cold. Um, there's the drones again. Like I was saying earlier, if you want to practice picking up queens, just grab a drone. One, they don't sting. Two, if you do hurt one, it's not a big deal. Okay. So, you know, just I always want to make sure that the queen's not on top here before we get down in here. So, but uh, let's see what's going on here. We'll give them just a smidge of smoke to let them know we're coming in. I feel like she's got plenty of room up here. But again, they are putting, they're pulling. They're pulling this out like they should be doing. This is a blank when we put it in there. Oh my, yeah. Uh, so you can see how well she's laying. There's this side. So you can see all the cat brood in there. Cat brood, a little bit of food up around the top end, but man, that's. She's getting ready to explode. That's only the second frame, and so if the second frame is that full, the rest of this box is probably pretty dang on full too. And I said that this colony was docile, and they are. This isn't a real good, great day. It's overcast. It's windy. It has been raining. So. Not the best conditions to be in a colony today, be doing inspections. There is some swarm cells starting to be made up. I 
That's one of the biggest things I want to see. Oh, yeah. Here. Now, swarm cells are usually right down here where this one's at. Girl, check and see what's going on there. But what this one up here normally is, is called a supersedure cell. This is why we want to get a lot of queens off her this year. She's a few years old, and we want to keep that going in our bee yard. Yeah, this one's got two procedure cells everywhere. Quicker. There she is. That's why we call her number 55. She's she's actually laying right now. And uh, beautiful queen, beautiful temperament. My brother know my brother would like to do a damari split and we're just gonna have to get on it and we're gonna have to do that split ASAP so I want him to be able to check that out so I am going to actually close them back up actually I may look and see if we've got another deep put on top of this and checkerboard it and see if I can get her to come up. Uh, and then that way, if, if if I do, that'll give her a little bit more of a uh, chance to lay and no swarming occur. So we'll check and see what happens here. So what I did with number 55 until my brother can get up here and do his split that he wants to do on her is I went ahead and just gave her a lot more room. I gave her a uh, another full deep. So now she's got, she has laid a medium uh, deep and now she's probably going to fill this one up too. But I gave her a full comb and blank so that she can have both. They can move stuff around if they need to. Um, but uh, we do need to give her more room. There, there was swarm cells in there. There was uh, supersedure cells. She is an older queen. We do want her uh, genetics to continue to flow throughout our colonies and our bee yards throughout the valley. So we want to get as many splits off her as we can this year. Um, hopefully by the time he's able to get up here and look and do what he wants to do, she'll have more than just one. We can do multiple splits and just uh, have a good uh, pull from her. So again that's that's what i chose to do today uh, there's many options i could have done uh, but uh, that's the one i chose to do and you know that's that's the thing about beekeeping beekeeping is not just uh, something that there's just one said thing that you do with it uh, there, you can do multiple things um, you know each bee yard is going to be different 
Each colony is going to be different. Each scenario is going to be different. And you got to do what works for you. And, you know, we do, we do what works for us. Sometimes we make the wrong calls. Uh, everybody's going to make a wrong call every now and again. So don't think that you're going to be perfect in doing this, I, even as long as we've done it. Um, I have to refer back to David quite often. I forget a lot. So, you know, he, uh, he helps me along. Um, I'm sure maybe there's times I help him along. So, you know, don't, don't think that because you're a new beekeeper that you're going to make all the perfect decisions and all the perfect calls on everything that you do. You're not. You're just not. Uh, we don't. Uh, any beekeeper out there that's worth a grain of salt is going to tell you the same thing, that they don't all the time make the right call. And uh, but for this particular colony, that's what I chose to do, David, to uh, come in here and do the splits that he was wanting to do one because I we want to show you that split anyway, it's called the Mare splits, and uh, we want to show you that. We also want to show you some walk away splits and, and some other splits that we do. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, I'll just leave this one, leave this old girl here, and let her do her thing until uh, David gets here and. And then we'll we'll do what he's wanting to do with it. So, all right. Till next time. God bless you, and I hope you have a happy and fun beekeeping day.